YouTube. Today, I will be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 4. Before we begin, I'll first explain the different methods that I know that exist for iOS 4. The first of three methods is Jailbreak Me, which was a website that allowed for one of the easiest jailbreaks for iOS 4. However, the current website has now been updated for iOS 10. This may change later on as well. There is, however, an existing Jailbreak Me link that I will show later on, and it will be listed in the description. But please know that it's only for iOS 4.0.1 or for earlier versions, including iOS 3. The other methods that I know of also do work, and one popular option is Red Snow, which is compatible with iOS 4, but it's usually used for other versions like iOS 6. This does still function, but sometimes it may have to have a certain version of iTunes installed or it needs to run in a certain compatibility mode for newer operating systems. I personally haven't really used Red Snow all that much, but I do know that it works. The last of the ones that I know of is Green Poison, the tool that we will use in this video. Before we use it though, I will say that I have tested it on Windows 7, 10, and macOS High Sierra. The only operating system that I was successful with was Windows 7. I did try different compatibility modes on Windows 10, but I wasn't able to make it work. If you guys want to try it out and are successful, then let me know in the comments below. As for macOS, I've only tried it on High Sierra, and it didn't work. However, I suspect that it may work on older versions like Snow Leopard, Mountain Lion, Mavericks, the macOS version that was around when this tool was made. I have not tried that since I only have High Sierra and Mojave. However, if you guys want to try this and were successful, then leave a comment down below. Anything that I may mention here may be updated in the future, so please check the description for more information. This is also using the last version of Green Poison, known as RC6. There are previous versions, but this tutorial will be using the most up-to-date available software that was released regarding the iOS version and the Green Poison download. The download for Green Poison is also in the description, but it will be an Internet Archive saved page since the original pages have since been changed. Again, this will be done on a Windows 7 machine since it only worked on this operating system for me, but you can attempt to do it on another newer or older operating system at your own risk. Some iOS 4 devices are also on a newer version of iOS 4, but Green Poison only works with iOS 4.1, 4.2.1, 4.2.6, and iOS 3.2.2 on the first generation iPad. A complete list will be in the description. Before we use Green Poison, there is a website that is exactly like the old version of Jailbreak Me. It's the normal URL, but with an added forward slash star. This will be listed both on screen and in the description, but it also requires that the device be downgraded to iOS 4.0 or 4.0.1 or something earlier. This is not possible to do with iTunes unless a custom IPSW is used to downgrade or your device is already on 4.0.1 or earlier. With Green Poison though, it is able to jailbreak all of the supported devices that are on 4.2.1 or their equivalents. Jailbreak Me does still work, but it will require a downgrade while Green Poison is easier since it doesn't need one. Now that I have clarified as much as I can, and again, please leave comments regarding compatibility for different operating systems if you guys manage to have more success than me, we can move on to the tutorial. The only real difficult part about Green Poison is that it can have compatibility issues. I'm saying that it should work on Windows 7, but I am unsure if it works on other operating systems. Just so you guys know, I am using Windows 7 Ultimate. This is Service Pack 1, and I know that it works on this version. I cannot say for other versions, but this is guaranteed to work. Any other copy of Windows 7 should also work, but anything newer might have issues. Anyways, the first step to do is actually download Green Poison from the link in the description. Heading over to the website, it's the first box on the right that says Jailbreak Firmware 4.2.1. There's a Mac and a Windows version. I'm unsure if there's a Linux version, but on this page it has Mac and Windows. There might be one available, but these are the only two downloads that I was able to find. The download is quite simple, and just be sure to extract the file. I've already done so on the desktop. Once you have it downloaded and extracted, we need to open up the folder until we find Green Poison. After that, be sure to right click on it and click Run as Administrator, otherwise some issues may arise.
it will ask for an Apple TV prompt if you are jailbreaking an Apple TV, but in this case, I will be jailbreaking an iOS device. However, this will also apply if you're jailbreaking the Apple TV. You just have to wait longer in order for it to complete. Anyways, since this is not an Apple TV, I'm going to click on no. Once that is done, be sure to get your device. I will be using an iPod Touch 2, and the best part about Green Poison is that it can jailbreak both MB and MC models of the iPod Touch, as well as all versions of the 3GS. Once your device is plugged in, turn it off while it is plugged into the computer. Once the device is off, we can click prepare to jailbreak. As we do this, there are on-screen instructions. So first we power it on, and then we press and hold the home button while we'll continue to hold sleep. After that, we release the sleep button while we'll continue to hold the home button. This will put the device into DFU mode and it will allow us to jailbreak it. At this stage, you click on jailbreak and it will take a while. And also know that the device can potentially freeze as well, but there are ways to fix this. The best thing to do is to restart the process by first closing out of Green Poison and holding down both the power and the home button on your device to get it out of DFU mode. Afterwards, the device should restart and you can try again by repeating the previous steps. Once the jailbreak takes place, there should be text on the device saying it was exploited by green poison, and eventually it shows a verbose type of boot process. Then it shows the green poison logo, and it will eventually boot back up. At this point, make sure your device is connected to the internet, since Green Poison installs a loader application which will then install Cydia. Heading over to the next page, we can see that there is a new application called Loader. Clicking on it will give us an option to install Cydia. Once Cydia is installed, the device is then jailbroken. But it's important to first update Cydia, which can take a while, but it will be better to use afterwards. Once the device resets, we will then be able to open Cydia. And there it is. Your device is now jailbroken. There are many repos that still support iOS 4, and I will show a couple of different tweaks and repos in the rest of the video that are handy to start off with. I will have three repos that I use, and they will be listed on screen right here. There are two Invoxy repos and one by Parrot Geek Software. To start off with, one nice tweak in the normal Inboxy repo is called Checkmate Store. This may not work all of the time, but it will help with installing unsupported apps on older iOS versions by bypassing the This App 
is not compatible or it can't be installed on your device message. It can be installed by first clicking on edit, clicking add, and adding the first repo. After that, head over to the source selection, then click on all packages. It's the second one in the list. It can help with installing older versions of apps on your device, and it's very handy to have. One tweak that I like from the Invoxy beta repo is called the Backtracker tweak. This allows MacTracker to get an updated list of devices. It's a small but nice to have tweak. Now for the Parrot Geek software, this has a very important tweak for those who use iFile. Normally, if you just install iFile by itself, it'll usually crash on startup. However, this repo has the iFile crash fix tweak. This allows you to, you guessed it, use iFile without crashing. Not everyone's going to use iFile, but this is certainly a handy tool to have. These three repos have a lot of good tweaks, but these are three that I recommend having first. The rest of these tweaks are already within the pre-installed repos that are found within Cydia already. The first small tweak that you can download directly from Cydia without adding sources is called the Action Menu. This tweak adds more actions to things when you long press to select something. It's a small but nice thing to have for notes, contacts, and other apps that use text a lot. There is also a paid version, but the free one has plenty of features already. The next one is a big one, features. This allows a lot of different features for iOS devices that have limited capabilities like multitasking and a home screen wallpaper. If you do not have Winterboard installed, this will install it for you and by applying it, it allows your device to have a lot more features than it would normally have. Also, if the device feels slow, such as with multitasking, this can be sped up by turning off everything in Spotlight Search. The change is noticeable, and even if you do use Spotlight Search, then just leave the ones that you use. Features is a must-have for these older devices, and it opens up your device with more options. The last handy tweak to have is Power Options. This changes the standard slide to power off screen to one with several options like respring, reboot, clear cache, and of course, power off. Not essential, but nice to have since a simple respring can help out sometimes. This is just the start. There are a ton of tweaks and other enhancements that were made with iOS 4 support, but these are just a couple of good starter ones to have. Hopefully this was able to help you jailbreak your iDevice and I know that some go beyond iOS 4.2.1, but many devices are also stuck on iOS 4.2.1. And Green Poison is a simple and easy way of jailbreaking these older devices. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.